Good morning and hello everybody. I'm Cameron from Gravity Goods and this is a what sold this weekend video. Have fun. Make money. Stay grounded. I'm recording this first part of the video on Saturday morning because my mail person actually does come on Saturdays to pick up packages. So it's going to be a two part video. Um, I'm going to pull orders this morning. First thing Saturday morning from the things that sold Friday. And then whatever sells today and on Sunday, I'll pull those orders and they'll be a part of the second part of the video. So it'll be a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, what sold. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Of course, came out here at the shed and got my coffee. Got my old dog, Allie, here with me. You gonna help Papa get some orders out, Allie B? You gonna help me get some orders ready for the people? We're gonna send them out to the people? You gonna be my helper? You just here to look cute. Oh, don't you dare kiss me with that poopy breath. First item is an A99. Now, some of my bins still have the numbers on them. Now, when I put something in here, it'll say friends. When I first started, there was this number system. So let me get this out of here. First item that sold is this old Peyton Manning Colts jersey. And uh, this actually was something that my wife gifted her father, who then passed away, who her mother gave back to her. And she was like, I don't know what to do with this. Just sell it. So I don't know what the original cost of goods was, but it sold for $11.25 plus shipping on top. This next item that sold is a set of cups. I love Lucy cups to be exact and not just cups but glasses and I don't think they're actually here in the shed I think I have to go find them either in the garage or in a spare bedroom in our house I don't think they ever made it out here to the shed when it got built um, but I'll show a picture here and this is before I was taking better pictures so you can see it's kind of a dark picture these glasses I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar each so like four bucks how many of them are there yeah, like $4, and they sold for $21.59 plus shipping. All right, this next item is a Paw Patrol item. Who doesn't love the Paw Patrol? It's gonna be in this tote up here, Saved by the Bell. And what it is, is a, uh, a watch. I thought it was a green looking one. So why are these all the pink ones? Rut row. Hmm. I could have swore the picture was not of Sky, but the green guy. These are all of Sky. That is definitely a green toy. It's not, or a watch. I guess it's a watch. But it says it was in G C85. That would be ah. It's in Doug. It's right in there. Okay, my bad. It's all right, cause I'm saved by the bell. That's what we're looking for. There it is. Get that packaged up. This makes me happy. Cause anytime you see one of my items have this tape and a number on it it means it's an older inventory from like four months ago so i'm happy to sell those all right next up is in bart simpson it's a dog leash 11 bucks i think i paid three it's this one look at this big statue i finally got listed found this at the goodwill bins i don't know about a month ago it's really large for a statue it's heavy anyway it's just sitting here because i don't know where to put it next up is an e005 a star trek dvd set star trek dvd set e005 okay that's gonna be here in ren and stimpy again older inventory those sold for 30 bucks uh, free shipping but I believe if my memory serves me correctly these came from that big bulk buy that was a hundred dollars for tons of DVDs and video games and 
some CDs and I've already well in the profit there so this is all just frosting on the cake all right and the last item that's gonna go out today on Saturday for my sales on Friday is in the house and it is because I haven't brought that tote of these pants out here yet but it's a women's convertible Marmot is the brand they're like a hiking pair of pants a charcoal gray color and they sold for $26.96 uh, free shipping so get those find those I love Lucy cups get all this packaged up and shipped out be back soon until then I'm gonna watch Lonnie and Candace and get these orders packed up I always enjoy watching a YouTube video and you know learning and having something on out here besides just music sometimes I do just music but mostly I like to watch other people's videos Okay, now I need to stop talking and rambling and really go. See ya in a second. All right, and magically, just like that, it's Sunday afternoon. So the interesting thing is, yes, I'm going to pull orders and show you what sold this weekend, but I actually don't have to pack them, y'all. Tomorrow is an observation, national federal holiday, Martin Luther King Jr., and there's no mail. So this actually won't all go out until Tuesday. And there was part of me that was like, Oh, just wait and record this on Monday night and capture Friday, Saturday, Sunday, month, four days of sales. But I don't want this video to be super long. So having said that, I'm going to share with you what uh, sold since the last clips that you saw there at the beginning and uh, at least put them in a pile. Maybe not package them up until tomorrow, but at least pull them, show you what sold. So without further ado and my continued yammering on in no particular order, Let's pull the first item. This is a um, pen, brooch or pen, depends on who you ask. It's in this Popple's tote, and I'm not sure how far into it it is because I just recently listed it. My dog's laying down here, so I don't want this tote to come crashing down on her. Did I startle you when you were trying to sleep? I'm sorry. Okay. Where is that brooch? Probably just kind of like slid it down. Maybe, maybe not. Allie, do you see an angel brooch anywhere, girl? What the hell? Why do I have a random empty bag? That seems a little bizarre. <laughs> it doesn't need to be in there, does it, Allie? But look what was under it. There's the brooch. She's like, whatever, dude. I was sleeping. You woke me up. So, yeah, it looks like this. And it's a pen. Uh, I bought 50 brooches and pens in a lot on Facebook. And uh, the total of that lot, I think I paid 50 bucks. This guy just sold for $7.50 plus shipping on top. Next up, and I'm actually waiting to see if this customer wants to pay the higher cost of shipping because it's such a big box. Uh, it's gonna cost around $42 to get this shipped to her. But what's inside of there, gonna have to share a picture of over here, uh, is vintage Rubbermaid baskets. Square, nothing special about them except for the fact that they are vintage Rubbermaid from the 90s. And some folks just really want that. So uh, the cost of the baskets themselves, by the way, I pulled these from the bins, the Goodwill bins. So they're all, I'm only into them like a dollar each. They sold for 20 bucks plus that spendy shipping. So next is, it says it's in Saved by the Bell, but I feel like I might have moved it. Well, I better go look at the name. It's a VHS, the X-Files Fight the future vhs the x files fight the future my wife just got me this um this sign to hang in the shed it's pretty cool i clearly haven't hung it up yet though and my shed my shed is a mess right now don't judge me but we got a lot of inventory this weekend and i'm slowly bringing it out here and it's not yet all listed and put away so you know i've got these random wicker ducks swans whatever they are when i once i get those listed i'm probably gonna storm them somewhere else anyways okay find the vhs camera i have decided to name this shelf after cat the nurse flipper this one is just called dumb and dumber and then this one is 
Lone Star Picker. My buddy Louie. This is the movie. No, this is the movie. The X Files. Is that right? Is that what it was, y'all? Dios mio. That looks like it. Yeah, that's the same thing. All right. And I've actually already pulled these off the shelf. So I'll just show you right now. These are men's shape ups. Brand new. Got them at the Goodwill. I did pay up for them. I paid $20 for them. But they sold $69.99 plus shipping on top. And those sold the same day I listed them. Today I listed another pair of them. So hopefully those sell too. All right. Another item. Well, I don't want to go off too much here. So let's pull her because she's. She's a bolo. If you're ever out and about and you find one of these Jim Henson puppets, probably regardless of the character, buy it. But we found uh, Beaker and Janice. And Beaker sold the same day I listed him for like 60 bucks. Bought him for $2.99. And Janice took her a few months to sell. But she sold today for $100 plus shipping. So Janice, you say, who's Janice? Well, we're gonna find her right now. All right, she's probably in the bottom of this plushies bin because bought a lot of things since then, piled on top of her. Janice, where are you? There you are, my friend. As beautiful as ever. $100, y'all. $100. Hey, you're losing your shoe there, girl. So if you see her, buy her. She's worth some money. But you might have to sit on her for a while like I did. 100 bucks! Did I mention we paid only $2.99? Okay, so next up is a piece of clothing. It's a women's extra large Eddie Bauer sweater thing. It's in the Mickey Mouse bin. It's like Tetris. Getting these totes in and out of the shelves, I'll tell you what. All right, Mickey Mouse, you're next. Okay, we are looking for probably this sweater right here. There it is, yep. Oh, so recently when I've been finding DVDs in totes as I pull orders, I'm pulling those DVDs out to put them on my media cabinet here and the shelves. Because that makes the totes incredibly heavy. And I have space in here, so. Then I just have to go remember to change the SKUs. So I know what shelf it's going to end up on. I'll show you what this sweater looks like real quickly here. I don't think Eddie Bauer is as popular as it used to be. But uh, it still sells. So when I find stuff like this at the bins, and I get it for a dollar, sell it for 12 Not a huge profit there, but still profit, and they are paying the shipping on top. So um, it'll go it'll go into one of these padded flat rate mailers for $7.52. Get in there! Next is in Doug, the Hatchimals. Another item that I just listed yesterday and it sold the same day it's up there and i've got crap in the way so i gotta rearrange some stuff here all right so here it is this is a hatchimals treehouse pulled it from the bins cost about a buck and it sold for 20 to 22 dollars plus shipping on top rock aware t-shirt nothing fancy or special about it i'm pretty sure i picked it up at a yard sale for like 50 cents or a buck sold for nine dollars plus shipping I think that's it so far, y'all. No, the missing gap <laughs> pants that I just still can't find. I sold a pair of pants, and I'm going to have to just go through one tote at a time to find these stupid pants that I got from the bins, so they ain't cost me hardly anything. So if I end up having to cancel, it's not the end of the world. Well, it'll just be a waste of a lot of my time. But it sold. these pants sold for $11 plus shipping on top. I just have to find them, and I don't know where they are are so that's a bummer so yeah a couple more orders may end up coming through and i'll decide tomorrow when i want to put this video out if i end up adding those or not but that's what sold 
hope it's helpful to folks to see what types of things sell obviously it's an eclectic variety of things you could tell that i sell anything from vintage laundry baskets to plush toys to brooches and shape up shoes but uh basically anything that i can find at a lower price and make money i'm buying it and trying to flip it so if you like content like this and you haven't already please hit that thumbs up consider subscribing and until the next video don't forget to have fun make money stay grounded see ya these swans are keeping their eye on you ah, ah, ah. all right i gotta find these damn pants